I've loved Ted, 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 Ted Hughes' work for as long as I can remember. So it was, and, and the story itself, you, you don't, you, I don't know. I mean, it's not that I, I actually pursued reading about the two of them, but it's, I don't, you grew up in this country, I think you just, you just know about it. It's one of those stories. I've always been a fan, and, and when, the role, when, the, when the part came up, I, the script was so good that I had to do it. It was, it was too much of a challenge. Together with Martin, I want to make the best film we can, the most entertaining film we can. And it's not a question of redefining, but it's a question of taking it somewhere, maybe where it's never gone before. I understand that doing this doesn't help, but um, I don't think I'm going to change my attitude towards what I've always kept. If you pirate a film and go and watch it on a bad copy, with bad sound, with bad dubbing, without that, that you lose about 80% of the experience. Um, and that's a shame. Brilliant. Really great, you know, really easy. Uh, she was going through a difficult time, but she just she handled it. Really well. It was rather nice. It was, uh, she was very queenly. no-brainer. I just read it and I felt um, very similar to the times when I read Boys Don't Cry or Million Dollar Baby. Um, I think this is a really smart supernatural thriller um, with, um, you know, not a lot of these movies, in my opinion, are, are, are really smart and to me this has twists that you don't see coming. You know, a lot of them, only three of them were actually actors and the rest of them were um, kids that they had found um, on the basketball court or in schoolrooms across the country. And that over a billion people had a lack of access to safe drinking water. And I didn't know that over two million people a year died because of it, 6,000 children a day. Just, I can't tell you how much I love my job. I love it so much and I am grateful every single day I get to wake up and go do it. And I'm grateful to show up at places like this and see my name immortalized on Hollywood Boulevard.
is, you know, he hires the people because he believes in them and he means it. And, and when he, when you feel that, you just believe in yourself and it's a great gift because ultimately, I think a big part of acting is trusting your instincts. So it's just, it's a, it was a dream come true and I, I, I wish I could do every movie for the rest of my life with him and, and his next movie doesn't have a, a girl's woman's role in it. And, you know, I reminded him that I did play a boy before and then I do it again for him. I'm still working on it. <laughs>
back and forth. I love both my homes, the one here and the one in New York. And I'm very lucky that I, I get the opportunity to go back and forth and, and um, to experience both cultures. And so I think I'll probably keep it that way. It's a whole different thing. If they're here, it's great. I'll, I'll stand for hours. I'll satisfy them as much as I can. So it's an entirely different thing when people are in front of your place of res residence and following you all around and in your normal life. I'm, I'm very happy being at home. Um, but I am, you know, reading things and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely seriously thinking about going back to work more. You know, I think it can be a fantastic thing when two artists are together because you have this sort of built-in understanding of what it is to be an artistic personality, and which is tricky. Oh, I can think of one group in particular. <laughs> well, it seems like a very good marriage. Um, I think Tom is uh, a real visionary, and he's incredibly talented, and uh, it's nice to see makeup come back and be reinvented by somebody like him. I just played with it. I, I pretended like it was a, you know, like a little kid that wanted to sit at the big kids' table, and and just kind of, and, and had a little too much sugar. It was really honestly my favorite movie I've ever made in my life. I had a blast. I don't, I don't see it as pressure at all. I'm, the, the great thing is it, you know, as an independent film, it didn't cost a great deal to make, and and I think we did as good a job as we possibly could with it. So I play a uh, young. Um, one of the sports news, radio sports guy um, that's now doing spot traffic reports. And I don't know that, I'm, I'm not looking for love, uh, but I find it where I least expect it. I don't know, but uh, it's good. It's like being at home, but in a different state with uh, mountains. I'm robbing the place. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in and steal everything. And then see how that goes. See if I can get out of here without anyone knowing it was me. No, I haven't punked him. I haven't punked him. Well, I couldn't on the movie because there was too much stuff that we were doing that was too dangerous, and 
if he was like hanging from a high wire and gonna die and I was and 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 and, and, and he was like what are you punking me are you trying to punk me that wouldn't have been a good thing so you know I think it's just been like a lifelong journey of learning about love I think that's like I really kind of feel like that's what we're here for it's like our entire life is based on learning about love Understanding their place in the world. You know, they, or I should say, to not seem insulting, we have never really had to fight for our place in the world. I realized I. Classes because here I am supposed to be the teacher and I'm not supposed to be as poised and elocuted as the rest of these girls and so I, I stopped going. <laughs> I was a dropout. <laughs> no, I don't. You can't really compartmentalize it. It's, this is actually making me the most nervous. <laughs> You're having fun though. Yes. The place. I've come here to visit with asthma patients as I did upstairs uh, just earlier. Their parents and their doctors and to voice my support for. A resounding yes on Prop 87. I wish I could wear this on my head. This is how much I believe in what we're trying to accomplish here. struggle is I have girlfriends who do it all and you know they're not um, giddy all the time but they seem they seem to do pretty well at it and they seem pretty fulfilled and that's really all that matters I mean all is a relative term
feeling fine. I'm saying, you know, I'm feeling slightly apprehensive the way one always does before a premiere. But you know, I'm I'm reasonably confident about the film. I think it's got some funny stuff in it. Yes, I mean, semi unofficially, it's, it's simply because I mentioned it in a, in a in a newspaper interview, I think, and, and people assume uh, that it's definitely on. But we haven't really got a script together yet, so you know, we're going to get that first, and then. But it's it's coming on, but the, the, which means there's a risk. There's a high risk that we might be able to shoot it next year. But beyond that, you know, we don't know. Yeah, we made a series of commercials for Barclay Card in the early 90s, uh, which featured the character that we have now christened, rechristened, uh, Johnny English. He, he, he had a different name in the commercials. But it was exactly the same world. It was the world of the British Secret Service. He had an assistant called uh, Boff, who's been carried on into the movie. And, uh, and we always liked the comic uh, dynamic that existed between these two secret agents, you know, basically the clever one and the, and the not so clever one. I would describe it as a as sort of scary poppins, actually, which I think was a movie or an idea for a movie that, that, that someone wrote one called called Scary Poppins. Uh, I'm feeling fine. Yeah, I find all this red carpet sort of walkabout stuff, you know, that Tom Cruise is such a dab hand at. I find it all quite difficult, <laughs> but. Um, Oh, but anyway, I've done my bit and um, I'm very happy to be here. I get quite stressed about what I do after I've done it. I mean, simply because I suppose it's, it's the perfectionist in me which believes that everything I've done is not as good as it could be. So, you know, no matter how many takes I do, I never really believe that I've, I've, I've cracked it. And Natalie was great. Um, she was a delight to work with. We were we we had a good a natural uh, chemistry from the very first time that we met, and 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 I just sensed that she was going to provide the perfect sort of contrast, the perfect complement to the sort of slightly pompous theatricality of Johnny English. Um, but I think the movie is fun. You know, I, I like his attitude to life. I love the I love the seriousness of the man. The fact that he takes everything so damn seriously, and then he just messes up in such a ridiculous way. I learned from her that it's it's perfectly possible to be a very good actor uh, and a very uh, funny person at the same time.